Hi, I'm Brooke Tyler. Welcome to CoreSell. This is the online Pilates video subscription platform coming to you. On CoreSell, I offer classical Pilates workouts for all levels. Whether you're learning the fundamentals, or you're an advanced practitioner, or you're an instructor wanting to take your work deeper, I'm going to give you a lot of tidbits on form, how to do the movements, and give you some really great workouts. So the other thing unique to CoreSell is we really like to work out with some connection to the season, the season in nature and how you move your body based on different seasons. We have seasons of our life, we have seasons of what's happening as we're coming from winter into spring, which is where we are right now in the Northern Hemisphere. So this time of year, as we're like this little sprout coming out of the ground, right? We've got it, we gotta wring some things out. We've gotta take all this potential energy of the winter and burst it through into the spring. You see everything starting to sprout and bloom and get up through the ground. So we like to do extra twists. And at the Studio Classique in Asheville, where I'm filming now, we have a challenge called Every Day in May. And that's inviting clients to participate in the core challenge doing their Pilates workout every day of the month of May because that really helps you develop a habit. And that's what I'm wanting for Core Self too, that that becomes something that becomes part of your everyday life and fuels you in the ways that you need. So I'm gonna do a little quick workout and join me. Let's go through just the stomach series. We'll do a little extra twisting and wringing it out because that's what we like to do this time of year. It's what the body needs and craves, get some extra movement in the hip and in the waist and some side bends. As we come from the winter, the seed sprouting, coming up through the ground, coming alive. All right, on your back, 100. Knees into your chest and stretch them out long and begin with your big breaths. Inhale. Exhale. You want to press your legs to the center line and reach them across the room. So your legs feel very dynamic and they feel like they're connected all the way up here in your waist. You can lower them if you can keep your core pulling in. Try always to keep the rest of your body pretty quiet in the hundred. One more breath. And lengthen everything down for a smooth roll up. Come up, stretch forward. Now just go halfway down and hold. Practice reaching legs across the room, pulling your stomach in. That gives you some opposition. We talk a lot about that in Pilates. Now go halfway down and hold. Keep reaching through your arms and just do a small twist to the right. That'll turn on your waist. Come center, small twist left. You feel it here in your sides. Come center, go just a little bit lower. Still press the legs to the center, go back right again. It's just small, you don't have to twist very far. Go left, hold. Come center, go all the way down and reach. And now full roll up again, up and stretch. Inhale, one more. As you stretch forward, pull back, down, right leg up to you, give it a pull. We'll do some single leg circles. Press your arms to the mat, circle around. One, two, keep everything else really still. Reverse for five, up. Stretch it in again, scissor switch. Up, stretch that leg to you, circle one, two, press through the backs of your arms, reverse, you want to get some freedom in your hips, lengthen down, roll up, lift your hips forward on your mat, set them underneath you with that curve, that sets you up for rolling like a ball, rock it back, up and balance. You're pushing your legs into your hands, and you're pulling. One more. Lift your hips back to the center of your mat. And our stomach series, your everyday favorite Pilates routine. So push your leg back into your hands. There's your opposition. And switch, switch. As much as you're pulling in, you're pressing. And that makes all the work in the middle much deeper. 
Now keep that right knee and hold. Let's turn it into a crisscross right here. Reach your arms to your sides. Just take your shoulder towards your knee, small twist, and switch. Shoulder towards your knee, reach through your fingertips. Switch. A little extra right here. Switch. Keep reaching. And center, double leg stretch, everything gets long. Exhale, pull it around. Inhale, reach. Exhale. One more. Legs long, reach through your fingertips, hold. Pull it around. Single straight leg. Scissor switch, switch. Remember your leg presses into your hands. We'll talk a lot about opposition and how that makes your work much deeper. And then you're strengthening your entire body and you don't need weights or springs. Although if you have a studio nearby, get in there. And then hold, right leg in, stay here. Hands behind your head. Small twist to the right, up, open. Here's an extra crisscross for you. And switch, up and open. Making sure your elbows are wide, you're not closing in. And switch. One more time. There you go. Both legs up, rest your head for a moment. Press your arms into the, ma into the mat, let's do a small tick-tock. The leg squeeze the center line, take them over to the right, hold. Pressing your opposite shoulder down. Come center, take them left, hold, press that shoulder down. Come center, now hands behind your head, curl up off the floor, stay there. Now take your legs over to the right just a little. Without tipping over, come center, take them left, keep that curl here. Upper body stays pretty quiet. Good, your waist is working. Double straight leg, inhale, lower your legs. Exhale, draw them back up. Again, lower. Exhale up. Again, long, long legs. Drag them back up. Now crisscross all the way in and switch. Opening your chest as you go. Open, up and open. One more each side. And sit up tall. Spine stretch forward. So you ground down into your hips and lift at the same time. Reach the arms. Get tall and then round forward, pulling your waist back, back, back. Roll back up. Inhale. One more. Big inhale, lift. And then reach forward, pull back. Big exhale. Grab your feet this time and pull. And roll back up. Shoulders down. All right, that's your little taster of core self. We're going to have a lot of different workouts from short five minutes to a full hour, all different levels. Everything you need to make Pilates part of your life, part of your work, part of connecting to the core of who you are, feeling strong and empowered in everything you're doing in your awesome, phenomenal, kick-ass life. All right, thanks. See you soon. Mm -hmm.